بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay so in this section we'll be talking about IP addressing TCP IP TCP IP protocols overview and then also we'll talk about the addressing concepts So the first thing we'll need to understand what is protocol network protocol in general Now network protocol is nothing but it is a set of rules which the two devices uh, they need to follow if you if they want to have a proper communication just like we have learned the concept of network so the network is nothing but your interconnection of your devices so you're connecting our computers so that they can exchange the information so in order to exchange the proper information or in order to communicate they need to follow some some basic rules or they should follow some kind of standards just like if if i take an example of uh, you people if you want to communicate with me basically we need to follow one common language just like we use an english as a standard language to communicate with each other if i don't follow that standard then basically we cannot communicate in the same way if you are connecting a uh, devices in the network whether you are connecting your computers or switch or router or any other device like firewall so basically all these devices must have to follow one common standard of communication or common set of rules so basically uh, that is what standard is nothing but a set of rules and this network protocol is responsible for that so in order to communicate in order for the two computers to talk to each other they must be communicating based on the same language or the same protocols so there are different vendors uh, basically like we have a uh, different set of protocol sets so every vendor develop their own protocols like tcp ip developed by department of defense similar way we have ipx xpx protocols developed by novel netware for netware operating systems and apple developed their own set of protocols called apple talk and microsoft have their own protocols like netbios and osi uh, protocol set developed by iso so like that every vendor have their own set of protocols developed just like every region have their own languages just like if you visit different countries different places basically everyone have their own uh, regional languages where they follow to talk to each other to communicate with each other so similar way if you are trying to communicate with microsoft to microsoft so basically you can use the microsoft protocol called netbios similar way apple have their own protocols but even though uh every vendor has their own protocol but we should follow one standard protocol and that is what uh, tcp ip is there so even though every vendor have their own protocols but tcp ip protocol set has been made as a standard protocol just like we have an english language uh, which is commonly used as a standard language generally for communication similar way tcp ip protocols are commonly used now the main reason for using uh, tcp ip as a standard protocol because of the internet so if i want if i'm using a windows machine let's say and i want this windows machine should be able to connect to the internet like we all know the internet is a global network where everyone is connected and the entire internet works on tcp ip so which means even though microsoft windows have their own set of protocols but still it should support tcp ip so even if i'm using an apple device if i want to connect to internet my apple device must understand and use tcp ip protocols so that's the reason we don't really need to learn how the different protocols behaves or how they work or what are the protocols inside what they do exactly so practically we'll be implementing a tcp ip protocol so and that's the reason we'll be learning a tcp ip protocol here So what is TCP IP as i said TCP IP is a standard protocol which is used for communication between the networking devices so if all these devices need to talk to each other they must follow one common standard protocol so basically any vendor we are using whatever the vendor they all support TCP IP so it's a standard protocol which every vendor every device every networking device should support Now again tcp ip is a set of protocols so it's not a single protocol it's a set of protocols where in that again we have different protocols will do different jobs like ftp protocol is responsible for file transfer 
if you are trying to do some web access then there is an HTTP protocol for remote access we have a telnet for name resolution we have a DNS so probably more on this TCP IP protocols like individual protocols what they do probably will be discussing in a TCP IP protocol section more in detail because in this section I I just wanted to focus more on the IP addressing part rather than going on individual protocols initially okay so different protocols works in different layers and different jobs they do we'll be seeing them more in detail in a TCP IP section a little bit separate TCP IP section where we cover more about the protocols <laughs>